What's up guys, it's Ray and I'm back today with another video. As you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing the problems with stretched ears part 2, the updated version, um, because if you guys have been with me for a while, um, I did a video last year, I, it's been just over a year since I made the video called problems with stretched ears and a lot of you guys actually found my channel through that video, so I figured since my ears are like double the size they were in that video, I might as well, there's something on my shirt. I might as well remake it since I have not encountered that many more problems, but I have encountered some. So, yeah. If the lighting changes above me, it's because there's a TV right there and I can't find the remote to turn it off. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, anyway, so my ears now are 7 eighths. Um, they're 22 millimeters, and this is what they look like. I have metal eyelets in them. Um, just screw on with cubic zirconium in the back or on the front wow on the front um, which is funny because last year the video that I made I was wearing metal screw on plugs with cubic zirconium in them but they were a big one in the middle and I want to say I was either a half or seven sixteenths when I made that video I don't know I should check the actual video itself to find out but I just watched it and the video is pretty short so I'm going to try and make this one relatively short too. Um, so the biggest problem, <laughs> okay well let me let me touch on this, let me touch on this. In last year's video, the thing that I made the biggest deal about was fucking O-rings. <laughs> Do you know why? Because they suck. And you know what? Has not changed, O-rings still suck. <laughs> um, I haven't had gotten any stuck in my ears since that video was made, um, I will, I will say that, um, but the, I posted a picture on Instagram, I will insert it right here, I posted a picture on Instagram announcing that my ears were 7 eighths, and <laughs> those plugs are just acrylic single flare plugs that wear, that have o-rings on the back, I posted that picture. By that night, both of the O-rings on those plugs, both my O-rings were gone. It's like from the back of my ear. I have no idea where they are. I don't know what happened to them. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know. So I just left those plugs in my ears for two days because I like physically could not change them because my ears were so swollen. I physically could not change them, so I just kind of prayed my plugs didn't fall out in my sleep. Because if they had, I would have to go back down a size and then start retaping my ear again because they were so fresh. Um, yeah, I have no idea where those O-rings are. Um, I looked for them for like an entire day the next day and they're gone. So I ended up just putting these in and living with these because they have a metal back on them and they're metal so and you really should heal with metal plugs. But I couldn't get, I tried to stretch my ears with these but I could not get it in my ear. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the next point I wanted to make was that the one big thing that has changed since I stretched my ears further is that I do not wear plugs, or tunnels, not plug. I do not wear tunnels to work anymore because I still have a day job, obviously. <laughs> I do not <clears throat> wear tunnels to work anymore because my ears are significantly larger and I tend to wear my hair up at work um, it just it draws too much attention to them which causes too much side conversation that is not relative to my work and I don't mind it like I don't mind the questions but I don't want it to lead to me getting in trouble at work for distracting people or causing like a fuss amongst customers so I just don't wear tunnels to work anymore because I can guarantee if I do by the end of the day somebody's gonna say something to me about my ears. The rest of it, it has stayed relatively the same. I haven't had any like more dirty looks about my ears or more like, I still get stared at but it's cause I have like pink fucking hair. So I don't know. I haven't noticed that many problems except, except that like, oh, when I wash my hair and I like flip my hair like so to put it in the towel, my ears tend to do this. If I don't wash them, like they tend to fold forward like onto my ear so I have to be aware when I put the towel on my head to move my ear back down before I tie it because if not I'll like flip my head up with it and it pulls my lobes like so and it actually does kind of hurt so I just have to be aware of that 
but other than that, nothing, nothing too drastic has changed. That's like the main thing was I don't, I can't wear tunnels to work anymore. I mean, I've been wearing these, but it's because I'm back at like my normal store and I don't have backs to the other 7 8 plugs that I have and I only have two. So I've just kind of been dealing with these. I mean, they're not like... I have noticed if I wear this this uh, silicone ones, the chaos ones, I get more comments, but that's because those are like so thin. People kind of can't tell that there's something in my ear. I don't know why people are people are stupid. But yeah, um, I was like, oh my, I did want to mention because I said in my previous in the last year's video that I use coconut oil to moisturize my ears. That has changed. About a month after that video aired, I stopped using coconut oil just because it. It made my ear cheese smell worse <laughs> and it was causing the peeling problem that I've been having and I actually have not had that problem in quite a while um I have started using this though and it's I'm looking at myself in my phone as a viewfinder um it's the ultra balm from lush it's vegan cruelty free obviously it's made with organic jojoba oil can deal Como say what? Candelia wax and rose wax. So it's a very simple ingredient list, and I mean jojoba oil is excellent for your ears anyway. So I just use this. Um, I do it like every two days. Once I wash them, I put moisturizer on them, and then um, I also heal my tattoos with this. This is um, really great for color tattoos. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I wanted to cover today. I just before I end the video, I wanted to ask you guys. Would you want to see some covers on this channel because since Warped Tour I've been singing a lot lately and I kind of miss singing like all the time because I used to when I was in high school now I don't but yeah um, follow me on Instagram and I'll post some of me singing on Instagram story so you guys can t tell me if you want to see it on my channel or not so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you found it informative I hope I didn't ramble too much which I always feel like I do and yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't uh, check the my previous video will be linked down below along with my social media. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye! Mwah.